Hey guys, today we're gonna to be doing a teardown of this pair of wireless earbuds. I might also try to modify the circuitry in this thing so that instead of using uh, earbuds like this, it just has a headphone jack on it because, well, the sound quality of these uh, headphones is not very good. Of course, that could be down to the fact that the speakers aren't very good. It could also be down to the fact that the uh, circuitry in here isn't very good. All right, so I've gone ahead and switched over to my shotgun mic and I'm going to play some music off of the uh, copyright free YouTube audio library. And I'm just gonna compare the sound quality of the song itself, the speakers on this phone, as well as the, uh, the earbuds. Hopefully I can get a decent uh, sound for the earbuds, but uh, here we go. So yeah, they sound a little bit like you're listening to music through a phone book. It doesn't just sound like that because I'm using a microphone. That is actually what it sounds like. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pop these guys open and see what is inside here. Probably not a whole lot. My guess would be a little lithium battery and probably a circuit board with a blob on it, but we're gonna find out. I'm gonna go ahead and try to pry at this with something before I just go and cut into it. I'm not entirely sure. Yep, yeah, it's just clipped together. All right, that's simple enough. There we go, we have a circuit board. Have a little tiny lithium battery that is a 55 milliamp hour little square cell there. And we got a circuit board. It's got a chip on it. This does have a microphone as well. And then we've just got the wires that go out to the uh, earbuds. Let's see if I can pop this battery out of here without poking a hole in it and then we'll uh, take a closer look at the rest of it. Oh, wow, that wasn't uh, held in very tightly at all. all right, so on this side of the board, not a whole lot. We've got a red and a blue LED and three buttons, which were on here as well. So there's the power button, which is also play, pause, and pairing. And then you've just got volume up and down keys. So that's uh, fairly simple, fairly standard. And they're just these little uh, sort of tactile dome type switches. This little guy, which I'm guessing is your Bluetooth antenna. And we've got some kind of uh, part number there. And then on this side is where all the actual circuitry is. All right, so that's the main chip. That is an AS18AP1F315. Go ahead and look that up and see if I can't find anything about it. All right, so the only thing that comes up when you look that number up is this website, which is FCCID. Io. It's basically just the paper that says that it's FCC certified, it looks like. So unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's a data sheet that's going to come up easily anyway. They do seem to be fairly popular because if you look up just part of the chip number, it comes up with things like uh, AS18AP Bluetooth and things like that. So uh, apparently they use them a lot, but the data sheets don't seem to be uh, too easy to find. As for the rest of the board, it pretty much just seems like all passives to complement this chip. So you can see the antenna through the circuit board there. They removed the solder mask around that. And we've just got some random capacitors and possibly resistors. These don't appear to have any actual markings on them. There's nothing on the board and there's nothing on them. But anyway, that's uh, most certainly just kind of support circuitry for that main chip. And if we keep moving this way, we've got a bit more support circuitry. We have what looks to be a crystal oscillator at potentially 24 megahertz. That's what I'm gonna guess there. We've got a resistor and a capacitor here. That might have something to do with the uh, USB charging. I'm not real sure what though. It looks like that is connected straight to one of the pins there though. And of course we have a micro USB port on here for charging. We have a little microphone here, and then we've just got some more support circuitry. One thing that I do note about this board is that there doesn't appear to be any kind of uh, charge regulation on it. We just have the micro USB port here, 
and there's a resistor which looks like it is connected to uh, one of the pins on this but there's no uh, charge circuitry on here however in the battery itself there is a little circuit board on the battery which has this little uh, five pin chip on it i'm not real sure what that is but we've got that and then there's a resistor here which presumably sets charge current or it's being used as a shunt of some kind but anyway that cell does appear to have protection on it which is a good thing and as i mentioned earlier it's just a tiny little 55 milliamp hour uh, lipo all right so i did a bit of experimentation with this board and i learned a couple things about it for one uh, even though the board is labeled left out there's a left plus and minus and a right plus and minus. This thing outputs mono audio, which is kind of interesting. Also, the sound that comes out of the circuit board directly, it's not anywhere near as bad as what it sounds like once it goes through these really cheap uh, earphones, but it does still not sound very good compared to just the headphone jack on my phone. So uh, anyway, the audio quality of this thing, not great. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I thought it was a fun little experiment. And uh, see you next video, guys. Bye.